Hey everyone, Josh from TVU Networks here. In this video, I'm gonna be going over what you need to do to create your very first TVU producer session. So, at the home page, you're gonna see in the upper right-hand corner, there is an emblem of a person or a little icon. And that very first one after you hover over it is gonna be TVU producer. So, that's where we wanna click on. Now here it takes you to the login page. If you already have an account in TVU Networks, you can log in via the Gmail, which I will do. Or if you're brand new to the TVU ecosystem, you can just click sign up. It'll ask for some basic information and then you'll have your account. After you create your account, you'll be good to go. So for me, I'll just click on the Gmail because I'll log in with my TVU Networks account and it's gonna take you to the TVU producer workbench. Now you can see here, I have three different sessions all ready to go. They're not running, they're currently off. However, we don't wanna use a session we've already created, we wanna create a brand new one. So here, where it says create program, we're gonna click on create program. You're gonna name your program, whatever you'd like. So for this, let's do TVU podcast with Josh. I'll hit next. And this is where some of the settings that you might wanna be considering when you create your session come to mind. Now, this can be changed at any time after you've created your session, but it's still a good idea to kind of have an understanding about what they mean. TVU RPS, that's if you are using our TVU RPS system. So if you don't know what that is, uh, you'll be sure to check out and learn some more information on our website. However, you won't be needing it this time. Party line, this would not be able to bring in party line devices or people from party line. This is gonna depend on if you're using party line with our TVU Anywhere app. More to come in that in a later video. Uh, if you're working in a vertical video space, you can click on vertical video. If you want an output buffer, you can click here. If you want a source delay control, you click on that one. But the one that I think is most important here are the input source recording and the PGM or the program recording. So for input source recording, when I create a session, I like each of my individual camera feeds, which for me in the four output, or the four input, excuse me, version of TV producer, I have source one will be recording at all times, source two will be recording at all times, source three and source four. If you wanted to bring in uh, the other sources that we'll talk about later on, you're more than welcome to click, click on any of those. Or if you have the eight input version, click on all eight and you have every time there's a source in there to be recording in our cloud, uh, in the TVU cloud record section. Program recording simply means that anything in the program feed is gonna give you a, a nice clean feed of your production that you can use to create social, me social media videos for or whatever you need. So I like clicking that one as well. For selecting a region, this is related to your IP address. Uh, just click on the area that is closest to you. I'm currently based out of Memphis, Tennessee. So I am gonna create, or I'm gonna click on US East North Virginia. I'll hit save. This session is gonna pop up here and I'll hit start. And this is where it's gonna actually start creating the TV producer session. Now this can take a couple minutes, so it's not something that you wanna rush, you know, you wanna be able to have some time to relax, but I'll see you guys in just a minute. And after a couple minutes, you get this view right here, which is a brand new TV producer session. Now we'll be going over how to bring in sources, audio levels, all of that in later videos. However, for now, I just wanna talk about in the upper right hand corner, you can see total consumed this month and time remaining. This one hour and 20 minutes means in the month of June, I've used one hour and 20 minutes of TV producer time. I created a little podcast with some friends. It was a lot of fun to be able to try it out and use the different products and different features in that way. And the total time remaining. So you're never gonna be caught off guard about how much time you have, you know, and then you'll be able to talk to your kind of executive and purchase more hours if you need to. And also if you get low, you will be given a warning saying, hey, you might run out of hours. If you need to shut off the producer session, which you'll need to do at the end of each time you use it. Now, again, this session is going to stay up in the cloud if I just exit out of this tab, right? For example, I will make a scene or make a new window. I will exit out of this. I will type in TV producer again. Right here for me. I will log in. It's gonna automatically log me in. You can see right here, TVU podcast with Josh. It's still running. It's a great thing about in the cloud, I'll hit enter, instantly pops right back up and I'm right where I started. See the time kept going because the session was still running. So if you lose power, uh, your session and your video isn't gonna go down, your production will stay up because it's in the cloud. So you do wanna hit the shut down the program when you're done using it for what it's meant to do, whether you're broadcasting, if you're editing something inside, if you were showing it off to your friend, just make sure you shut down the program so those hours stop ticking. Um, and that's it for this version. Thank you so much.